There are many tools in FreeCAD that we sometimes don't even use and don't know what they are for. For a model like this one, for example, cloning the body object and transforming it is more efficient than creating a raise in part-time workbench. Welcome to the channel and to another video about drawing for beginners in which you will see how to draw this part in FreeCAD using a special tool this time, the Draft Workbench Cloning Tool. Let's go and see how to create the model. Okay, first of all, we need to create a new document and we do that pressing empty file and it will create a new blank document or we can close this document and choose to create a parametric part pressing this option and it will create a new document with a body object inside. This body object will store all information related to the salt creation and also let's save this document pressing this icon and I will save this document as model 12. And okay as you can see here here we have the model what you'll try to design in this video is this model here so the first thing that we'll do is to try to create this part here the cylinder and also the cylinder in a body object so let's go go to our document and the first thing to do is to create a new sketch this sketch will create on the front plane so just go to the create sketch icon this icon click on it and select the axis plane the front plane okay now we're in the sketch workbench as you can see so the next thing that we'll do here is to go to the sketch jumps this tools here and select the polyline tool this tool here pick this tool and what you do with this is to create a vertical line and the vertical axis and a horizontal line like this. Okay, now skip this tool and next select equal constraint and make it this line and this line equal. Now let's see the dimensions of these lines here. Let's go to the drink page. As we can see here we have the views. So we can see that the length of this line here we can set 46 millimeters. So let's go, let's set that, go to our document and select dimension tool to set the dimension. Just click on this icon, click on this line here and now click off and set 46 millimeters and enter. Now the next thing to do is to close this sketch because it's full constrained as you can see here. Close this and let's rename this sketch here to path sketch, press F2 and rename to path. Okay, and here we have this. Now we'll create a profile, this profile will represent this cylinder here so let's do that go to our document and create a new sketch now we can select wasi plane no problem and next on the sketch of workbench just go to these tools here and select cycle tool pick this tool create a cycle here on the origin axis set a just click off and select the mission tool now click on this cycle and click off now we have to look for the amount of this cycle let's go to the drink pitch and here we can see that we have a range of 18 millimeters for this external cycle here. So we can set 16 millimeters for this. And here we have this. Now skip two times to leave this sketch and we have this. Go to the model and the tree view, select this sketch here and let's rename this to profile, enter and here we have this. Now let's create a salt using these two sketches here. So the first thing that we'll do is to select the profile sketch like so and then select the active pipe tool, this tool here. Click on this icon and on this task panel we have to select a path for this profile sketch. So just click on object button and next select this sketch here and now we have this. If we change to the front view, we can see that we have some problems here. And we can fix this changing the corner transition on the task panel. Just go to the task panel, click on here and select right corner. And now press OK. And here we have this. OK. And also we can see that we have a small problem here. This corner here is so different from this. OK and we can fix this adding a fillet to the sketch to the path sketch let's go to the operation at this pipe and click on this arrow and then select the path sketch double click and now on this sketch here what we'll do is to add a fillet in these two lines here to do that we select this icon and then we select this line here and 
this line here and now we have this as you can see we have this fillet now we have to set the dimension of this fillet to do that we select the dimension tool and next we select this arc here and we set eight millimeters so we set eight millimeters the half of the the diameter of this cylinder here okay here we have this now let's pick the equal constraint and make this line and this line equal skip to time to leave this sketch and now we can see that we have this problem here let's try to fix this let's go to the model tape and then select the active pipe tool double click on it and let's change here and see what happens if we select run color and refresh this document we can see that we still have the same problem if we change to the first option transform it and refresh the document we can see that we still have the same problem okay let's go to right corner and press ok the best way to fix this is to change the attachment of the profile sketch this profile sketch is attached to the yz plane and what you'll do is to change the attachment of this profile sketch so to do that let's first hide this additive pipe operation select this operation and spacebar to make it to hide it and then select these two sketches in this way and spacebar to make it visible if we check to the front view we can see that we have this what we'll do next is to attach this profile sketch on this line here of this path sketch so press home on your keyboard select the profile sketch right click and select attachment editor and click on this plain button here and select this line here now we can see that this profile sketch is attached on this path sketch here in the h3 okay we can change here to initial two and three and here we have this press ok and we have this let's refresh this document press here and we have this now let's make the active pipe operation visible select this and spacebar and now we can see that we have this now it's correct let's select these two profile sketch and spacebar to make it visible uh, let's save this document press this icon and the next thing that we'll do here is to try to create this part here to create this is very simple we'll create a new sketch on the front plane okay so go to the create sketch icon click on this icon and let's select axi plane for this sketch okay we are the sketcher workbench again and now let's switch to the session view to see the axis here press this icon and now we have this as you can see okay the next thing that we'll do is to use this tool here to extract some edge of this salt here so let's select this tool and then extract this edge now this one here and now we have this the next thing that you'll we'll do is to trace a triangle geometry to do that we'll use the polyline tool go to sketch jump and select polyline and now create this geometry in this way okay now we have this and the next let's create two construction lines just press this icon and as you can see now we have construction geometry so the polyline tool and now create a line here a vertical line and the horizontal line here you can see that this endpoint here of these two lines is connected to this line here so you have to do that skip this tool and select equal constraint and make it this line and this line equal okay next select this tool here okay and make it this point at this point first call constraint it and now this one and this point here horizontal constraint it and now we have this as you can see three degrees of freedom the next thing that we'll do is to go to the drain page and see the dimensions so we can see that from this edge to this point here we have a distance of one millimeters so we select the dimension tool and then we press we select this point and now this end point here and now we click off and we set a distance of one millimeter and we press enter and now we have this as you can see okay now skip this tool and drag this line to here here we must reduce the size of this line here okay 
So let's zoom in here and select dimension tool and for example set a distance of 0 0.5 millimeters for these two points. A vertical distance. Okay, and here we have this as you can see. Next, you can do the same here. Skip this tool, track this point to here. And now select the dimension tool. Now this point, this point here. And create the horizontal distance of 0 0.5 millimeters and enter. Now I have this. You can see that this sketch is full constrained. We can click on this icon to leave this sketch. And then to create a salt, we'll use the extrude tool now. Select this tool and then set mark to plane and now we have to set the length which is 4 millimeters like we see here 4 millimeters set 4 and enter and now we have this as you can see okay next let's create this hole this hole here as you can see we have uh, therefore 38 millimeters and a diameter of 10 millimeters for this hole we can do that using the whole tool of part-time workbench. But before we use this tool, let's talk the transparency of this part here. To do that, we select this part. We can select this edge and press VT on the keyboard. And now we have this, as you can see. Or you can go to the model and select the body, right click on mouse and find this option, toggle transparency, okay? Okay, next we can create a hole. Let's start from this face here. Select this hole, select this face, and then press hold tool. Let's change to the front view. So let's go to the test panel, go to the diameter, and change to 10 millimeters. And the depth set to 38 millimeters. Okay, and here we have this, as you can see. Now scroll down, and what we'll do is to change the drill point to flat. Just check this option, and now we have this, as you can see. Scroll up. Press OK, and now I have this. As you can see, we have a hole here. Next, we'll create a hole here on this face. Select this face, and then hole tool. Change to the front view, set. We can press OK here, and then go to the uh, hole operation on the test panel. Sorry, in the model to view. And then scroll down here to the diameter and change to 10 millimeters. Close this start page. As you can see, here we have this. Select this whole operation again, and now we go to the drill point here, and let's change to flat option, and enter. Here we have this, as you can see. Now let's change the depth of this hole. Okay, as you can see, here is the depth, and we must change here to 38 millimeters, and then press enter. And here we have this, as you can see. Now let's toggle the transparency of this part here. Select this and V2. And now I have this, okay? As you can see, we have the holes. We have this part here, these cylinders. And now it's time to create an array of this part here. We'll need three occurrence of this part, like we see here, okay? And the way to do that is not to use the part sign workbench. I recommend to use other workbench to create a array of this part here okay so let's go to the draft workbench click on the workbench a little and go to draft hide this grid here pressing this icon and here we have this okay what we'll do now is to create a clone of this part here later you will understand why so i select this part here and then i go to this tool here clone tool and i and i will create two clones of this body so I press here and I go again to this body and I press this icon again. And now I go back to the part-time workbench and I go to the model tab. I hide these all operations and double click on this operation, sorry, in this body. And now I have this. I have three parts here on this document. And what I will do now is to transform these parts, okay? So I will select this part here and space bar to make it to hide it. And then I will double click on this part here. Okay, and now what I'll do is to rotate this part in the Z axis. So I press this point here and, and I rotate the model like this. And now I press OK. And if I rotate this, as you can see, I have this. Okay. Next, I make this body here visible. 
space power and double click on it and now i will transform this in the um, x axis and now as you can see i have this i press ok and now i have these three occurrence of this part here now that i have this the next step is to make a fusion of these three parts here to have a unique part to do that i will use a tool available in the part workbench so just click on the workbench selector and go to the part workbench and now just select these three parts and then union tool and now we have this as you can see we have a single part now as you can see here on the tree view so it means that if you select this fusion and hit space bar it will hide the entire part okay here we have this okay as you can see here we have the final part this is the final model now let me show you things that we can do with the clone objects that we created for example if i go to the model tape on this fusion click on this arrow and I go to this body here I click on this arrow and I go to uh, active pipe operation and for example I select the path sketch and then I scroll down to constraints here and next I change for example this length here to something like 56 millimeters and I press enter and as you can see the size of this part here increased this happens because we created clones of this body object. If we created a simple copy of this body object, this won't work it. Okay. If I change here to let's say 100, as you can see, I have this. Let's go back to 46 millimeters and press center. And as you can see, I have this back. Okay. If I go to the whole operation, and for example change the diameter to five millimeters and press enter as you can see now i have this if i click here and go to this hole and also change the diameter here to five millimeters as you can see this is automatically updated okay so as you can see this is the reason why i created two clones of this body object it's very easy to work with one body and update the other objects, okay? So what can I say is thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to leave a like and share this video with your friends. If you want to support the content of this channel, there's a link in the video description to the channel's Ko-Fi page. Or you can support the channel buying the ebooks that is appearing on the screen now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video.